people are like, oh, you have two dads, that's a little weird. I'm like, it's not weird, it's just different. And different, it can be better. Alicia was 17 months old when we first met her. Like, she thinks very deeply, and it's kind of astounding to us, really. Anisha just can't get enough of K-pop. Uh, K-pop is Korean pop. Almost every single song has a dance to it. makai has got this tremendously outgoing personality. Everything rolls off his back, too. Girls, does Makai cheat? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, if I didn't have these two dads, I don't know where my life would be right now. We wanted a family and they needed a home, so it was kind of a win-win. Here we go. This is not one of our three adopted children. This is our fourth adopted child. There we go. We met in 1992 as uh, sophomores in college. I fixed him up in a relationship that didn't work out, and that was pretty much the catalyst for us finally being together. It actually worked out really well. <laughs> we really um, had a strong sense that if we were to um, live our life and come out that that we had to say goodbye to any hopes and dreams of having a family. family. Yeah. So part of coming to terms with coming out was um, coming to a realization that you may not never meet somebody with those same family goals and have a family. Gosh. All right, let's see what we got left to eat. Hit it. Hello, hello, baby. You came back. We had a lot of worries and fears in relationship to the adoption process, what it would be like in relationship to um, two dads. Especially if you adopt children who aren't of the same race as you, right? They have to deal with having two dads being different races. What kind of questions does that raise for their friends or their friends' parents? There are some kids at school that like say stuff because like I have two dads that I'm going to be gay or like how I was adopted and if they're like married or not, but it doesn't matter to me. For me, I understand. I'm just so grateful for them. This is Makai on two wheels. Everybody say yay! Yeah. People are always like, oh my god, I love gay people. They're so funny. I love, oh my god, I want to meet your dad. You guys are so funny. And I'm like, thank you? Yeah, thank you. The two of us were um, walking with the social worker down a path, and you could see the playground and the three kids. And the two of us immediately just kind of looked at each other and said, this is it, it's gonna work out. They have these traits that you could see in them at four years of age, three years of age, and 17 months old when we first met them. Like our middle daughter was bossing everybody around on the slide. So I am a boss. boss. No, well, yes. there, wait, Makai. being the boss and being bossy are two different things. Oh. <laughs> I'm not that bossy anymore. No, anymore. And Alicia was just in the little swing, staring up at the sky, and Makai was on the basketball court. Just, Ten years later. Just joined the freshman basketball team, so it's great to see that, you know, what he liked doing as a little kid is kind of playing out, right? It was all perfection. Like, it was exactly what, you know, exactly what we were hoping for. David and I have been very fortunate, feeling an overwhelming sense that we were supported, not only by our family, but um, by the community. We had one social worker that came in towards the end Miss Nikki, and um, I remember at one point her saying, like, um, this needs to move forward and this family needs to come together. I mean, I think we felt like we had a great advocate who was working on our behalf. Miss Nikki sent us this email saying it was adoption date, February 17th, 2010. Ten years goes by really fast. Like, there's no doubt it's a tough process. There were times that it really kind of left us feeling a little bit drained. I think the adoption day for us just brought a tremendous amount of relief. It did. So when I think of family, I think, actually I think David and I probably both reflect in, in, on our own childhood and certainly, uh, you know, relationships and trust and um, feeling safe and, and fun. I think we both try to, to bring all of those things into the family. You know, our parents at this point in time are getting older. Our, our three children are approaching college age and, you know, we both think a lot about that and make sure that um, we've, we've thought it through and planned for all of it, right? It's important for us to, to have a financial advisor, somebody who can help us. I mean, there's a lot of different options and just having somebody help guide us through those based on what our goals are would be important. Yeah, super helpful, without a doubt. Whether it's, you know, you're a gay couple raising kids, a single mom raising kids, you're all going through the same challenges and enjoying the same victories, right, with your kids. Don't